<laughs> Moving into the evolutions. Um, also fun stuff. This is uh, this set heavily focuses on evolutions. Uh, this is the first time we are getting common evolutions. Right. Uh, yes. I said the first time. This is the second set. But um, hey, the first for everything. It's the first for everything. Uh, so we're getting common evolutions. So a lot of hypers are going to be commons for you this time. Um, but that means there's a lot. There's there are a ton. Uh, there's 120 something cards in the set. 170. 170 cards in the set. I would say at least a third are evolutions. Yep. Yeah. Definitely a third of these are going to be evolutions. And it makes uh, a lot of the wave two and wave three Bakugan that you've been seeing violent. very playable. Yes, yeah. Very much so. Your wave two stuff now. This, this uh, is works. what you've been waiting for. Yeah. So let's go into Aquas Hyper Mantanoid. So we have an Aquas Titan Mantanoid already. Which I've been playing, he's all right. Yeah, he's uh, but good. going down now to the Hyper Mantanoid, what we got? This is not Th Ultra. This is not Ultra. Never no, mind. This is this is the Chonk Core. Word. This is the Chonk, the Blue Chonk. Yeah. All right. So Aqua's Hyper Mantanoid Core. Excuse me. So I'm gonna I'm gonna interpose and throw two other Evos with this one. That it's gonna be the the Diamond, Tertonium and, uh, Hyper Tertonium Ultra because they all do the same thing. They all do the same thing. Yep. All right. One, two, three. Here we go. When this opens, you may swap one of this Bakugan's Baku cores with the opposing Bakugan. Oh, so these are the swappers that we talked yeah. about yep. an hour ago. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, yeah, so... Um, A little bitty Aquafy right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Remember this scene? Anyway. Well, click this time. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to make him do that. <laughs> click here to go back to that point and be able to watch all the way up to this point again. Uh, make sure you watch those ads, though, right? No, I'm kidding. There's not going to be any ads. There's going to be ads. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, play six traps. Yep. Right. Open your Bakugan. Give your opponent a trap. Means you can play draw cards and do other things yep. while your opponent has to fight off the trap. Yep, yep, yep. yep. So, if, I don't know if any of these have helixes because I didn't do that much research. Uh, I don't think this Mantanoid does. The Turtles might. The oh. Turtles might also have blue shields. Also true. Maybe. That's anyway. minus 650 blue shields. Yeah. <laughs> Group all those together. You can play yes. a whole team of those, and uh, you got a weird little green, swap your, green swap blue, your cores deck. Swap your cores deck. Yeah. All right. So, um, are these here for a reason, or are they in order? Uh, these are... Yeah. These are still Aquas. These are still Aquas. Oh, this is just Aquas. But these, these we can also group together. These two? Yep. All right. Yeah, so, yeah, let's uh, throw these two up here. We got Hyper Kerkelios Ultra. And Aquas, and then Hyper Trox Ultra. I want to double check the Kerkelios, but I'm pretty sure. I'll go ahead and read Kerkelios. Uh, for a regular fist, it's plus 300B. When you play this, give a Bakugan plus 2 damage and 2 Frost Strike. Okay, so a little bit of Frost there. Again, hey, we're back from that cut. Um, we did not finish talking about Hyper Trox Ultra for Aquas. Um, so a decent starting uh, B in attack, if I 404. remember right. Yeah, so 404. Uh, and he goes up to what? Well, he's got 404 and... Or he is 404. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm sorry. This is an evolution. I know. That is an evolution. So I'm he starts at 404. Yeah. Goes uh, up to... Go down the list. He is a 707 yeah. when he evolves. And for a green fist, it's plus 400B, plus 5 damage, and then you may re-roll once each turn if you miss a roll with it. Yeah, so he has his built-in safety net for us missers out there. Yeah. Um, that, don't point at me, Liam. I'm, I told you I was getting better. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm fault. There's, there's several videos on this channel I'm being missing, too. Right. You miss, you lose. Um, <laughs> anyway, so uh, he's one of those. I know WebM has it, um, which... WebM has it on his character card. Yeah, WebM has it on his base card, uh, which uh, that's not out in this wave. Nope. Yeah. I want my little spider boy. Uh, I want spiders. Anyway. Uh, so he's pretty cool, uh, pretty green. straightforward. He's, he has double green fist, which is which makes him important. Double green fist. So yeah, he gets the plus four hundred boost, and then he gets and then the uh, plus five boost, and then he'll get the boost off the green fist also. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But he yeah. but for your Pegatrix decks, if you want to play blue, this is your boy. This is your boy. Yep. Or if you want to sacrifice one green fist, you can play the Crocellios. The one we just talked about. Yeah. Yeah. So I think, did we? Yeah, we did. We did. Um, oh yeah. yeah. So yeah, uh, moving on to the Auralis evolutions now. Um, oh, wait, no, no one. One Aquas, because we're not going to get him for a while, but he's worth talking about. Uh, Hydra Noid. Ooh. Well, okay, two. <laughs> <laughs> There's the Diamond Hydranoid 
and Hydronoid Ultra. Yeah, so three. Those exist. And there is Titan Pegatrix Ultra for Aquos. Uh, four costs. Oh, that's an Ultra? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's oh. why it's not playable right now. Dang. Yeah, yeah he's good. Uh, Victor, reveal the top card of your deck. This gets plus damage rating equal to twice the reveal the reveal card's energy cost. This guy's him, Leo. Huge knowledge. Huge knowledge. This guy's him. Huge knowledge. <laughs> Sky him. Durian Dane. Oof. Even better. Ooh. Sky's him. But Diamond rea- Max. Atomic. Realistically, uh, <laughs> anything. Fl- Flipatoshi. Yeah. Flip, right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. We're not going to get that for a while, I mean, though. Flip anything and it's... The Pegatrix good. Ultras are not in this set, or in this wave slash set. Uh, wave? So the waves are weird. I think we're getting two waves per set, right? Something Something-ish along, yeah, along those two, lines. Two or three. We've let's, gotten three waves. Let's, let's say on average two and a half. Right. So the next set should have WebAms, should have Cubbo. Pegatrix Ultra. Should have Pegatrix Ultra. Lupithion. Then we're going to start getting Lupithion. Kellyon, Nobilius, Pyravian. You, you'll see. You'll see a trend where you'll have the first wave with the set. Then you'll and then you'll see the diamonds first. Then you'll have like wave two, which will have some cards yeah. that are in the set. Then you'll have wave three, which has basically nothing. Then yeah. till the next set of cards drop yeah. to where wave all of wave two and three are covered. Yeah. Then you'll have some cards that overlap the next wave, and you'll have the stuff like Lupithion, Nobilius, and stuff that aren't going to have cards until we get the third set of cards. That's what it looks. That's what the trend looks like right, right now. So it, you just gotta wait. It's Be a wait, It's a waiting game. Yeah, there's plenty um, of other things to play. Like we are not patient. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I really need. I need these cards right now. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, moving on to the Oralist faction evolutions. First, we have. Maximus Fangs or Ultra. Not only does this card look cool, it's kind it's pretty of pretty cool. Um, so it has a cool effect. How much does it cost, though? Ten cost. Ten cost. That's a lot. If there are twenty or more cards in your discard pile, you may play it for free. For free. Um, so, so I'm going to be the differing opinion on this. Yeah. One. So he doesn't like this. I mean, I'm neutral on it. I mean, if you're losing. That sucks, Did, and so, yeah, you get a free evolution. But this doesn't stop you from losing. It doesn't stop you from losing. Uh, what's his B-Power? 1,500? 1,500. He's stout, and if you win, you get a pretty good attack. I mean, 10 is... Okay, but Orlis Fangzor in general is pretty good. By himself. It's Fangzor Ultra. Oh, uh, I didn't say that one. Zach, do, is the Orlis one out yet? It's coming yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, We're it's getting in it. A, uh, We're getting it. Right there. Um, <laughs> uh, so, I don't know. It, it's a weird card. If you're playing those decks where like you take the I'm, attacks, sure. I'm not opposed. I don't think it's. I'm not sure how much Orlis we're gonna be seeing anymore. It's not. Yeah, not, I, I don't. There is no reason to not play three factions. Three factions anymore. Or two factions. Yeah. Or, there's enough cards there, now. There, there is there is a lot of reason to play three faction now, mm-hmm. especially Pyrus heroes. Because Py- there's a lot of reason to play heroes. There's a lot of reason to play three faction. There's not a whole lot of reason to play Orlis anymore. Yeah, we need. I think we need Orlis at the beginning because it was just such like a beat stick almost. Yeah, yeah. And you, guard, need, you you needed the yeah. Orlis guard was stupid good. Yeah, Orlis Fangzor was pretty good. The little also one. good. Is or, Orlis Fangs Order is good, not in your hands. True. Moving on. <laughs> um, so, uh, the next one is pretty cool, actually, though. Uh, Titan Dragonoid Ultra. Um, I talked about this in my little preview video I did earlier, but this guy counts as all of the factions. Um, so, what? I want to like this card. I do too. What's, his, what's his stats? Four it's cost. Yeah. 1,200. 10. Ten. So, so it's four cost. Earlier than other Dragonoid, right? But it gets stopped by literally everything. Yeah. You can stop it with any flip card that stops um, anything. Faction based. Fa- faction, faction based flips. Faction based flips. Right, yeah. We'll stop um, the benefit 
is if you're playing those mono deck cards uh, for every Ventus team on your every Ventus Bakugan on your team, you get this buff. Yeah. Every Darkest Bakugan on your team, you get this effect. He is an Auraless Bakugan that works for you at that point. I. That's the main. It, help. It, I think they tried to make it. You can play one, two, like two of a faction and this. the, the Auraless yeah, and go saying. into this. But. Or, oh, this is why? Ultra, isn't it? Huh? Yeah, this is ultra. ultra. Yeah. Okay. But why would you play <clears throat> this when you could just play... Why would you play this when you could just play Pyrus and you could <laughs> play Titan Drago? Yeah. The much better card. And it has double strike and will have way more attack or uh, B-Power. Yeah. So, again, Auralis is kind of... If you know. They need to give us more Auralis... Things. Orlis is gonna have to. They they power crept Orlis down the set. Yeah. Right. Which Orlis. is weird because they wanted it to be this more powerful thing. Right. That was limited because it didn't have cards, but and like it needs cards now. Now it's not. It's not gonna get cards. They didn't I, say that. I don't think it will. I don't think it will. I don't think yeah, we're so gold, I don't think we're getting gold cards. That'd be nice. I secret rares. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the cards themselves are powerful. They are not as powerful as the rest of the set, yeah. in my opinion. Right. This set makes everything else better. True. Yes. Yeah. Now, if they do power creep or list back up, we could start seeing them again. If they, if they, I still think Garg's good. Garg is still good, just because it's easy to open. Here's what, th- here, here, here's, here's what I think. So, Pyravian's coming out. I'm assuming next wave. Right. Uh-huh. And if you watch the show, Pyravian is like this like god golden bird thing that like controls all the Bakugan when it wants. Right. So I'm assuming, this is a very far ahead prediction that's probably not going to come true, mm-hmm. that the next set is going to have to involve Auralist stuff because Pyravian is such a big deal. He- also, Tico. Tico. Which, if you're not watching the show... Tico is like the bad dude, and he's like an or he's this really crazy looking Auralis Bakugan, who is very powerful. He's a goat. Yeah. So if if those two come out at the same time or something, that set is probably going to focus on Auralis stuff, and I think we're going to get some kind of something for Auralis. Here's what I here's something that I could see, is that we'll get Auralis character cards that that'll say. Uh, That'll have deck building limitations on them. Like vanilla cards? So you'll get, we'll get some sort of really good Auralis character card that says you can only have Auralis characters on your team. Your deck can only include X faction. Mm. I wouldn't be surprised if they just release vanilla cards. Does that make sense? Yeah. So you could you, you could you would only play three I, gold I cards. Not, I, I think it'd be cool if they did kind of like that, but say Auralis and give Auralis cards. But then you can only play Auralis cards. Like if, like if you play any Auralis cards, yeah. your deck has to be Auralis cards. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think that would be cool. Uh, that would, but it, that's it, we don't know that. That's just brainstorming. <laughs> that's that's speculation, my guys. Um, all right, uh, last one here. This one's pretty good. Titan Krakelios Ultra. This is the last Auralis one we'll talk about from five, this set. Five cost. You may reroll this once each turn if you miss a roll with it. Right. Victor, choose one. Energize the top two cards of your deck, uncharge, or draw two cards. Right. So. I like this card. I play this with Ventus. Uh, he's 1,000. Uh, 1,105. And he costs five? Yeah. Costs five. Well, you don't uh, have to play it with Ventus, but. Energizing, obviously, Ventus I, Brain, but I also would, you get to draw. I would, depending on what the cores are, what the baseline is, I would probably play this over something, like if I was going to play Aqua Starkus Control, I'd probably play this over whatever Orlis Bakugan I'd play. Yeah, you get farther ahead. Just yeah. energizing too. Because I can save stuff to win on the turn, and whatever I need, if I need to energize more, my next turn, or draw two cards. I don't think I'll be needing five that. cost. Just pretty high. I'll get to five. That's why I think Ventus because it's five. Um, 
That's just me. I don't know. Um, the art on this thing, you're looking at it. It's really it's cool. Really nice. The silver and the gold. Mm. Orless cards look great. Orless, we're not talking about them, but Orless trucks. Uh, Ultra, the, the Evolution, the Titan. Yeah. Titan, Orless trucks. Maximus. That's Titan. Titan, Orless trucks, Ultra. Maximus trucks, Ultra. Never mind. It looks great. Here it is. <laughs> uh, it, I don't think it's that great. That's why we're not talking about it. All right, let's move on to Darkest. Uh, two things in this that stand out uh, really hard. Let's go ahead and talk about the big one first. Uh, or do you want to work your way Maximus to Maximus Garg Ultra? Maximus Garg. Yeah, so Mac Maximus Garganoid Ultra. The card art, again, gorgeous. Yeah. Maximus um, is always look good. Yeah, Maximus cards are fantastic. Uh, this is an A-cost, but it has the effect if it is in your discard, you can play it. For free? No, no, you just you have to pay, but you can you play can it play it. Discard, oh, discard. okay. So, so late game or once you get floating energy cards, you, you can chunk them early. First, darkest you can sacrifice. Yeah, sacrifice him, get him out of there, get your effect, get He's your one thousand ten for eight. I'm fine with it. Yeah, thousand ten. Um, and you can reroll once a turn. Yeah, and he has the uh, stagnant reroll ability. He, he's really cool looking. Uh, I'd have to see it in the deck first. I like it for flexibility. Yes. Uh, not having to keep it in your hand. I also like Garganoid. Garganoid. And there's a diamond to there's play a, with. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh, Diamond right. Phaedrus. That's, that's in here, too. Diamond right. Phaedrus is in the set. Yeah. Um, yeah, all right. Uh, so the Next. most interesting Darkest card, probably that plays into other things is Titan Tertonium Ultra. Um, Bakugan Elite? Yes. Bakugan Elite. We didn't say that for all the other ones. I don't think we got to them yet. Anyway. I don't think we got any uh, yeah. uh, sne Sneak Attack. Sneak Attack. Right. We haven't gotten to the other ones. Yeah, yeah. The other right. ones are Evos. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Keep going. Or Max right. Maximus uh, Fangs War Ultra. There's five? Yeah. No, there's six. There's one for each. Maximus Fangs War Ultra. It was the last one we did. Yes. That was a B. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. So, uh, how much does he cost? Four. He's four cost and basically fifteen hundred ten. Fifteen hundred ten. So he's strong for four cost. For four cost, but and then discard your whole hand. Discard your whole hand. Nuke yourself. Um, it's a blessing and a curse. Yeah. So if you're playing Pyrus, you're going to be playing. If you're going to play this card, you're playing a Fury deck. Yep. Yep. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Yeah. So, uh, this is going to run in... I, this is your new Pyrus Darkest Fury deck. This, 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 this is the Pyrus Darkest Fury, and you, Fury deck. And how it's looking, you don't need it 100% of the time. No. But it's your good reset button. But it's a four cost, so like you can just kind of drop it. Do we know what the core... Or not the core, but like the basic is on it? Uh, I might be able to find that. Should be all at the bottom. Um, but yeah, so this is going to play into... The Pyrus Howcore that we're going to talk about here in a second. Uh, Darkest Tertonium Ultra is 503 Magic Shield Green Fist. So 500 is a great, you know, good pretty, starting point. Good starting good start point. Start part and then you roll into Magic Shield. Right. So, um, we'll kind of finish talking about him when we get to the uh, Howcore uh, in Pop. Pyrus. But, Pop. 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 the uh, four-headed four, four, four four dog. Four pups in one. All right. Uh, last Darkest, we have Hyper Nilius Ultra. Um, so, Nilius Ultra comes with two red fists. No, two red shield. Two, sorry, two red shield. You um, wish you came with two red fists. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, anyway, uh, he's just got a good Evo, and the art's the same art from the Nilius in the show when he evolves. Yep. And it's oh, it's good. It kind of looks painted. It's kind of neat. Um, but stats. He is a three cost, and if you pick up a shield, which he's playing two of, yep. you get plus 800. He is only base 500 at a three cost with... Eight damage. Eight damage, yeah. So what, what do the red shields come with? The best red shields? 300. 300. 300. 300. So it gets 800? It goes to 1600. Yeah. yeah for on three. Are, yeah. So you can just play all red shield deck. Yeah. So you can play Darkest Titan Elias, Orless Fangzor, Aqua's Peg. Not Aqua's Peg. Yeah. Don't no, yeah. Play, uh, no, Aqua's Peg. No, no, no. Play uh, Hydra Soldier. Which one? Oh, Hydra Soldier. The Aqua's Hydra Soldier? Aqua's Hydra Soldier. There's two. There's two. Chaos or. Aqua's Hydra Soldier. Aquas. Okay. 
<laughs> what I said. Anyway, there's options for this. Is your I would say this would be your leading um, uh, red shield guy now. Uh, very strong. Um, if he ever gets a Titan, that'll be really interesting uh, for the for the darkest ultra. Anyway, uh, all right. So going into chaos, this is where things kind of get spicy. Spicy, uh, including a giant nuke. What? Cubo. <laughs> no, no, we're not doing it. Forget anyone else. Oh, there's a diamond cubo <laughs> down. That's all we're gonna talk about. That's it. That's it. That's, that's it. I'm never doing that again. Record it. Put it on. Uh, put it on the internet. Oh, it's already there. Um, all right, chaos cards. Let's uh, let's run through these bad boys. We have diamond Pegatrix ultra, which does what? It's a five cost. If this has two or more market cores attached to it, plus one thousand. One thousand ten base. Right. You have a one cost. Pick up a Baku core card in Chaos. You do. This is Peg Ultra. This is still Chaos. Doesn't matter. Go grab another core. Yeah, we're just playing. You just play the Mega Punch and get the. Oh, oh yeah. That's what I'm saying. You just get the open the, Mega yeah. Punch. Yeah. Of all. If you want to consort a Blue Fist onto them too, go for blue, it. Blue, blue Fist. Blue, blue Fist. We have Blue Fist now. It's a new thing. Did you yeah. not know? No. They uh they're uh, they're bad. Uh, are we are we putting like green shoes in the game? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. There's pants. <laughs> yes. Blue pants. Um. Uh, yeah. So cool card. Uh. Now hyper serpentes, chaos. Oh, this this is some cheese. All right. One one cost. If this has two or more Baku cores attached to it, plus ten damage rating. Wow. That's pretty. Six hundred four. So uh. Actually, not bad. Consort a red fist. Good luck. Plus six red fist. Oh jeez. <laughs> <laughs> 20 damage track, dude. Where's my, uh, where's my Dan that gives him double strike? Do you, do you, do you play, uh, do you play the Might of Cindius Mac package with this now? Yep. Ooh. Definitely. Yes. Interesting. We have more decks. <laughs> <sighs> When you sit here and actually talk about all the cards in order, everything starts coming together. Everything starts making sense. So hopefully you'll get that from this too. Um, there you go. Another uh, pick up a fist, uh, pick up a core and get stuff card. Maximus Mantanoid Ultra, looking very cool in the art. I we think very we cool. can do th these two together. Maximus Mantanoid and Maximus Maxator. Yeah. Okay. So uh, Mantanoid and Maxator. What do they do? Uh, Mantanoid is six cost. If you have three or more hero cards in play, you may play this for free. 1108. So you, you were playing this in your deck. I was playing this in my deck. The hero spam deck. Yeah. Uh, I liked it. I just... You always got it for free. Yeah, I always got it for free. Um, 1100 is good. All Stable. With, with the hero synergy, there's the Maxator, which is 7 cost. When you play this, you may play a hero for free. Leah. Leah. <laughs> <sighs> Dan. Dur Dan. <laughs> Durian Dane. <laughs> no, yeah, you get your Dan off of this. So Chaos and Pyrus Went and work pretty well together now. Put a Magnus um, in the play. It is seven cost. Magnus. Uh, it's expensive, but I you are you are playing white, red, black, blue, your color, black. You are playing white. White red? You're playing white red base. And you're going to splash whatever color you want to play the most. There if I go. had to guess. Aquas. You don't have to, though. You don't have I to. I can play whatever I want. I can the, play thing whatever about the, the thing about the hero thing that you were doing is that it didn't have a lot of fighting power. Yeah. So It, it needs... The heroes were the fighting As power. of now, yeah. That, it, it you had the one card that gave you the B power for the heroes. But if you didn't have it... You had the heroes that were giving you the B power. I think opening was the and biggest then, thing. Yeah. That's what lost in the game. Yeah. yeah. Or games. Uh, I think the the biggest problem with the first build was that opening was netting me cards in hand, but I didn't have energy to do with them, and the Bakugan that I was rolling wasn't doing anything, unless I was rolling the man. Right. Right. Which Yeah. I I have to like the turn varies where you actually want to play the Mantanoid. Yeah. So 
The hero stuff is really cool. Yeah, it, I really it's enjoy worth playing around with. So, um, moving on, we have Titan Gorthion Ultra. Our next B is this our the nuke. This, this is the nuke. nuke. This is the big old nuke. So, uh, what were we talking about earlier? The sneak. Uh, so, six cost. When you play this, destroy all other evos. All other evos. Twelve hundred four. Yeah. So this kills every uh, evo on the board, including so, yours. So, what we were saying, and I don't know if I'm splitting this up or not, earlier, uh, you play... Sneak Attack. Sneak Attack. Let them kind of play all their heroes for free. Like Evos. Yeah, yeah Evos. <laughs> uh, and once they do that, you nuke everything, and then now you play your Evos. Yeah. Um, that's the only point in time when I think that you play this card. I, Unless you can get it out early somehow. I don't see a point in... Like... That's the, yeah, that's the only point. It's definitely a cool card. It is definitely great. It's the first mass, well, no, I can't. It's a mass board wipe on a stick. Yeah. I should put it that way. It's Because Pyrus has. It's wax with a body. Yeah. Pyrus has Cinder Coil for heroes. And I think it's Cinder Coil. Yeah, yeah. And Chaos has wax. Wax. Yeah. Wax, wax is the nuke. And Wayne. Yeah, but this is, this is wax. This is everything. Yeah. But Wax is all other he Evos. Is it? I think. It's Wax. <laughs> Wax um, is an AS card. Yeah. Anyway, um, he, he's cool, but um, he's niche. Great I would art. Say. Great art. Yeah, he's Great like. Art. He's cool. like, I'm here to destroy your Evos. All right, last Chaos card. We have Titan Nilius Ultra. So, um, cool art. It's not one of those like copy paste arts from the other cards or anything like that. Yeah. It's its own thing. It's pretty cool. Misprint. It does. It's, somehow it's not. It was that guy's. Just that one. Uh, Just Ruben. One. Ruben's card had like smudged over. You, you, what? What does it do? Uh, six cost. Domination. If you're Bakugan or holding the most Baku cores, this costs three energy less to play. Yeah. So it's a three cost if you got Domination. Yeah. Uh, 1107. And now with uh, Super Fist or whatever, you don't have a reason not to have Domination. True. Um... So, this card, I mean, even if you are playing Green Fist, your opponent's probably playing Green Fist. It's right. the most common core. Right, yeah. yeah. Definitely. Um, yeah, because every, every, yeah. I think this card's cool. I, I like it. What, what's the stats on it? Uh, 1107. Yeah, so 1100 is pretty good. 1107 for three is not bad. Yes. Um, I don't know. We'll have to play with it. I don't have, we don't have that yet. Uh, we haven't messed with it yet, uh, but it can't be too bad. And playing things for less is always nice. Yeah. More worth. All right. Going into Pyrus cards. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. The, uh, oh, again, this is this oh, is the oh, set oh, for Pyrus. Oh, uh, oh, bark, bark, bark. Pup, 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 pup. There you go. Four heads of Flat Hyper Halcor Ultra. All so, right. this Bakugan Elite, Bakugan, uh, the Pyrus one from this set, is frightening. Because is five cost. Five cost. Fury, if you have no cards in hand... Plus 20 damage rating. Plus 20 damage rating to what he has already, which, which is, is five. five. 1,500, five. Wait, no. Is it Yeah, 1,500, five. Is that in this Play Dan, other Dan, double strike, 50 damage. Because the turn before you play this or well, you play Darkest Tertonium, nuke your hand, draw a card, Whatever. Energy, play it. Yeah. Well, yeah. No, well no. You, you can't nuke your hand before you play this card. Well, have this down. Darkest Tertonium. Yeah. You get what you're, I'm saying. You're going to be playing three cards <laughs> off Dan's anyway. Right. So, um, this is the put together uh, sacrifice. Ah, crap. It's getting late. Fury. Know. Fury. Fury deck. Um, it's scary. Uh, we, have, we haven't put it together yet. Uh, I, we don't have a uh, Tertonium Ultra yet to uh, mess around with. We are struggling to find Wave 3 around yeah, here. Yeah, I got three Walmarts and two Targets over. We got really like five Walmarts and two Targets we, we over gotta, here. We got to like trek it to go check smaller Walmarts. Yeah, we're, we're looking hard for them. Um, but anyway, uh, it's scary. We haven't tried it yet. Uh, we'll get back to you on that. Definitely going to be a video on that deck because it... Looking at the set, this is like the most terrifying thing in the set. Face value. 
Uh, 25 damage is Nobody turn with. 3 win. Yep, pretty much. Yeah. Um, draw 6, draw 2, two. Yeah, you're looking at like... like so you beat them one one box. Oh, yeah, then you, you maybe you lose the next one. Turn three, win or whatever. Because um, again, we're playing cards for cheaper with this set anyway, playing pirates and stuff. Um, so that's the big scary boy. Uh, next we have hyper serpentes. I like this one. Uh, hyper serpentes core. core, five cost. When this opens, if you're holding a fire fist, make a pirate's attack for five. Oh, okay, so you have him. We got another burn. Yeah, another five. burn. Wait, hold on. Is that That's right? the wrong one. Yeah, yeah, that is the right one. When it opens, you make an attack for five? 1,000... Is that one? 1,001. Yeah. But you're, I mean, but you're, you're making, making five. A, yeah, you're making an attack yeah. for five, so it makes the it five poke. And it says when you open? Yep. Yep. Rerolls. Rerolls. Here they are. This one's a little bit more tricky because you always have to hit... A fire fist. A fire fist. Yeah, sure. so... Um, and you can only play up to three fire fists. There's nothing with two right. fire fist on it. Right, right. yeah. So, or um, two magic shield. Put all your fire fists together and hope your opponent doesn't take them from you. Um, <laughs> True. <laughs> uh, but that, that card is very interesting. Uh, Maximus Tritonium Ultra. We put this on here so I can show you the art. Uh, this it's is Bowser. Bowser. It's Bowser. It's Bowser. Um, moving on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is uh, the Ventus cards. We're going to wrap up here with. Uh, diamond Tritonium Core. We are going to get a Diamond Tritonium. I don't think we're actually getting him. What? We, we talked about. We talked about this and Hyper Turbo. Oh yeah, we threw them all up earlier. Because they all have the uh, swap. Swap. Right. So Diamond Turb and Hyper Turb. Yeah. We, yeah. Can, we can skip the. We can come back to this one. Okay. This one. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do him last. We'll do him last. Did the third one last? So good. Okay. Yeah. All right. So uh, moving on, we have Hyper Serpentes Ultra. Oh, we can do these two together because they're the same. And, right? Yeah. All right. Let's put them together. Hyper Serpentes Ultra and then Titan Serpentes. Titan Serpentes Ultra for Ventus. Um, I like the Titan. It's pretty cool. The first, the first one is when you open Stand Two. The the second one is when you open, I should say, Charge Two. Yeah. Uh, when you when the the Titan is when you open. Charge all. Yeah. Right. The first then, one. The first one costs two, and the second one costs five. Four or five. Five. Oh, y'all didn't put the gargoyle on here, did you? Uh, to do hyper gargoyle ultra. Yeah, the opposite mantanoid. Uh, for one energy turbo, if you have the most energy cards no, 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 in play, no. plus five damage rating. No, no, this has plus one hundred B for each energy card you have in play. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, let's we'll just throw him up there. Oh, uh, that's um, Titan Guard. I was reading hyper. Yeah, Guard. Titan Guard for Ventus is interesting because he is the flip flop. Of Mantinoid. Yeah. <clears throat> Mantinoid and Ventus. Um, he has so zero. He has, he has zero. zero B, but he gets 100 B for each energy you have in play. Reroll Winton. So the, the Serpentises are what, I want, what I'm interested in. Yeah. Because if, yeah. if I can, like, pump out a bunch of energy with Winton and then open uh, before the, the trigger resolves, tap everything, float a bunch, untap everything. Yeah, we don't. We were talking about this the other day. We were wondering if you could just tap stuff for free, like you can in Magic. But I was saying I, mean, I don't think you can't you can. do that. You definitely can't do that. Okay. You mean just tap something for nothing? Yeah. Just no, no, no. no. Just tap your energy to make energy. See, this is foreign to me. So okay. I don't even know what he's talking okay. about. In Magic, you can tap your lands to float mana uh so the mana will go in what's called a floating pool so if your lands untap by some means uh you can then oh uh, so you've now spent four but then I, they go back up so you can spend the four again right so you'll make a total uh, of eight without playing a card yeah you can't do that I don't, okay I don't. stuff like dragon ball where you had to spend the exact amount of energy to play a card yeah. You couldn't float anything because there's a lot of untap effects and that would just get wild. Yeah, so right. that that's how this game is, right? I think so. I don't well, we don't have confirmation. We, but I'm gonna assume BK <laughs> Please. I'm, I'm going to assume we can't do this. I wanna do broken things. <laughs> Bakuan does not want you to do broken game. things. 
Oh, look, right. look, they printed Dan Cuzo that sells <laughs> free cards. That's right. And super fuel. Look, I, 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 I am. I fully take the blame for Brain Geyser. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to play. Take the blame for Dan Cuzo because that card should say once per turn. Right. It definitely should. Now that we have these reroll effects and whatever. Yeah, we need a uh, Dan Arata. Not that. That's probably not a good thing this early though. No. Well, yeah, moving on though. Uh, <laughs> All right. Let's finish up with the boy. I'm wearing my green shirt because of this. No, it's not. It's a green shirt. No, you're not. Shut that's, up. That shirt's green. Titan, Trox, Ultra. I talked about it in my video. You already know I love it. It's gorgeous. Here it is. Put it on my face. Look at it. He's gorgeous. Because we just thought about the Winton thing, now let's talk about it. All right. What was the stats? Five cost. Victor. Five cost. It's nothing for Ventus. Victor, you may energize any number of cards in your hand uncharged. If you control Winton styles, this card gets a thousand B power and plus ten damage. Boom. So with Winton, he goes up ten ten. So you're at twenty twenty. Yep. You got your Winton with your rerolls going on to get you fifteen energy, which means you get fifteen hundred B power, which means you're at thirty five hundred. And then you just play huge knowledge. <laughs> and then you play huge knowledge. <laughs> no, but seriously. That's what this really comes down to. The, huge knowledge. The first line of text on this card does not matter. <laughs> yeah. That yeah, Victor text right. does not matter. Right. Now, um, keep your flip cards in your hand so you can use them for this. For what? What? For what? To just play them now for free when you win. When you get the Victor. Oh. Or just charge your flip cards. No, 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 no. no. I like to look at them. <laughs> Anyway, um, Adam, this you? card is pretty good. I haven't actually got my hands on it to test it yet. We're probably about to do that. Um, we got to cut out about what, 20 pages of proxies. But yeah, we have <laughs> <24, laughs> to stack this thick of proxies because we don't have these cards yet. Uh, send them to me. Anyway, um, that was our set review for Resurgence. I don't know if this was three videos or if it was one. Um, we'll say three. That's probably three. It's probably three. Probably one. Anyway. I uh, hope y'all enjoyed this. Hope y'all just had us running on in the background. Uh, but come back to the page real quick. Uh, here we are. Uh, leave a like and uh, leave a comment down. What you think about all these cards or what, what you think we missed. What do we rate this set at 10? Uh, or compare it to the first set. I compare give, it to the first set. Uh, I give this a... I give it one big okay hand. Three okay hands. Three, Three okay, okay hands. hands. Better than the first set. <laughs> uh, they they could have done some things better. Okay, Orlis. Yeah, Orlis fell off. Big Orlis time. fell off, so lose a couple points there. But I think the heroes. Because I enjoy Orlis a lot. He heroes, heroes. The good spot cheap on. heroes are good. That's where they should be. The evolutions. Please, 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 no more Magnus Toshi Leo. Please, no more. No more high cost heroes. Giving us, giving us some more gimmicks to play with. To me, makes a set more important because it broadens the game. So I'm going to go 7.2. I was going to say 8 out of 10. 7.2. You went for 7.2 and not 7.8. Why? 7.8 out of 10. Too much water. What? Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm sticking with the 7.2. We got an I'll, 8. I'll, I'll, give, I'll give it an 8. An 8? All right. So relatively decent set, guys. What do y'all get the first set? You don't want to know. Nah, it's a base set. We, we don't really care. <laughs> it, right, it's a base set. Yeah. It's got, it's got there was too enough. many cards. Yeah, it was like 300 or some cards. Anyway, um, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate y'all sticking around through all this stuff. And uh, we will see you guys next time. We have a bunch of videos coming up with new decks. Uh, maybe talking about some stuff. And hopefully openings and card openings. Yes. So um, we'll see you guys later. And uh, see you later. Bye. <laughs>